All right, Hart fans, welcome to the 2024-2025 Hart Men's Wrestling Media Day. I'm your host, Tony Hager, with I Wrestle. And next up uh, here on the Hart Media Day is 12-time NAI National Champion Head Coach from Grandview, Grandview University, Nick Mitchell, along with defending NAI National Champion Alex Reynolds. Guys, uh, you know, thank you for joining us here today on Media Day. Um, you guys have been putting in the work, obviously, and uh, you know, competition is just around the corner for you guys. Yeah, we're excited. This weekend, we'll uh, we'll take some guys down to uh, Kansas. We'll get we'll get going here soon. Alex, how are you feeling? Going great. Good, good. Well, obviously, coming off a a great season, um, an incredible season, you know. Um, but as I know, Coach Mitchell, you know, it's it's on to the next one, right? It's on the next group of kids. So let's talk about this year's team. What is unique or different about this year's team, Coach? And what excites you most about this year's squad? Um, you know, I, I tell our guys like every year is different and that that's part of what I love about this job. You know, I, it, it's kind of like a puzzle each year, you know, you just, we're still trying to learn a little bit about what this team is. Um, it, it takes some time and, and we're going to start figuring that out once we get into competition. Um, but so far I feel good. I mean, the culture is good. Guys are working hard. So we'll see once we start competing, we'll, we'll find out what their uh, mindset's all about. And coach, um, you know, please introduce us to to Alex. Obviously, we were able to see him um, compete on the mat, but you know, what what does he bring to this team uh, off the mat for you? Yeah, Alex. Alex is red. We call him Red around here. So he uh, Red was national champ for us last year. Won his first conference title last year. Um, you know, the the thing that he brings more than anything is, I think, like hope for our younger guys. Uh, when he got here, uh, it wasn't like he just walked in and dominated right away. I mean, he he took some beatings. Uh, ben Lee, one of our former guys, wrestled 184 for us. Just used to like mop the mats with Alex's face whenever he felt like it. So it was uh, it was good. It was it, he he got better because of that. And uh, now he, he's he's handing some of those beatings out in the room. So um, he just proved, man, if you put the work in, you live the championship lifestyle, you do things the right way um you, you can be great and and he's shown that and, and he's shown it doesn't have to be perfect you know last year was a great season but it wasn't perfect but it, you don't need it to be perfect and uh he finished it the way he wanted to at the end and we're excited now that he you know just to see him really like believe in himself and, and the work that he's put in yeah Alex take me through kind of just your your emotions and your um mentally just kind of coming on campus getting in that room massive room beautiful facility and then you're surrounded by guys that just don't really know who you are. They just, you know, they want to get the spot on the, on the, on the team and, you know, having a successful high school career and then taking your lumps like through Ben Lee, right? How do you, how do you kind of go through each day knowing that, you know, you don't have the varsity spot and, you know, with the end goal, the end vision being ultimately what you were able to pull off last year of, of being a national champion. Something that I got really good at throughout my years here is just focusing on the next day and the focusing on getting better within that day, not thinking too far ahead, not thinking, oh, I'm not, like, I'm going to do good at this practice. That means I won't be able to be the starter. Or like not having no stuff ahead, just focusing on, hey, I'm going to get as much better as I can today, just taking it day by day. All right, Alex, Um, you know what? Last season, um, you know, the, you got to see the fruits of your labor, obviously, right? Um, of of taking those poundings in the room to get to the opportunity to to wrestle at the national championship, ultimately winning the national championship. Um, can you just kind of take me through the emotions of of uh, being able to etch your name in history along many other greats there at, at the Vikings, and um, you know, being able to celebrate that in that post post event social with your your teammates, alumni, and uh, your wrestling fans. It was it was an awesome feeling. I felt a lot of gratitude, especially towards like the wrestling um Grandview Coach Mitchell, the coaches believing in me, and I just, I felt like in a sort of way of pressure, I felt less pressure on me, and I just felt like I was able to really to believe in myself, and it that helped me make me realize, hey, I have the talent. I put in the I put in the work good things can happen. You know, coach all, always talks about uh, the championship lifestyle. You know, what, what personal sacrifices, termination, uh, 
things you had to do, you know, to, to buy into that program, to, to buy in that lifestyle, that culture, uh, to, to get you where you are right now? Yeah, I had to sacrifice a lot of time. I devote a lot of time to the wrestling room, just being in here as much as I can. Being in here almost 24-7. I'm in here every day, even Sunday, Saturday, all every day of the week till like probably like 10 p.m. I'm always in here. And also very devoting myself to school. I have a heavy school load, so like I have to also balance wrestling and school. So a lot of sacrifices within just the time I have to spend within the sport. Yeah, and I know that uh, academics and um, you know winning winning those awards is important at Grandview too, right? Of having the highest GPA and and not just not just winning on the mat, you know that culture there. Um, so that you know that's great to hear. Um, you know, Coach Mitchell, you're you're surrounded by obviously great student athletes, and you you've got you've always you know you've had a incredible amount of assistance that can help you um, build this team. Can you just talk a little bit about what that staff has meant to you and your program? Um, obviously coach Reedy is alongside you, but you got a, you got a, you got a handful. I mean, now it's like a, a two handfuls of coaches that, you know, are helping your guys. Yeah, for sure. I, I've been really lucky. I mean, that's, that's been a huge part of the success here and, um, yeah, like you said, Coach Reedy has been with me. Um, he's been full time since the third year of the program. Um, I mean, we we work great together. We always have. He's been he's my right hand man. I mean, he he does as much, if not more, than I do in this program. So huge part of it. And then about five years ago, we were able to hire Grant Henderson full time. Uh, we were able to fundraise enough to make his position full time. So just the fact that we have three full time coaches. Um, plus the, the work that Henderson puts in with our guys, technically he's in the room all the time. He runs our Viking wrestling club. So, uh, totally valuable, you know, and the guys like Grant Henderson or sorry, Grant Turner that, uh, has been with us since the first year of the program and, you know, just part-time he's got, he's got a full-time job, but he's been here going on. This will be his 17th year with us. And, um, those guys make such a big difference, you know, and you hear red talk about like believing in himself at the end of the year. That's that's those guys, you know, that, that's those guys like pouring into him and, and helping him believe that he is, you know, what what he thinks he can be. And so um, it, we're, I feel like we're to a point with, with this program where we've got so many so much support, so many cogs in the machine that it it almost I mean, I, I could if I get fired tomorrow, it's it's going to be good. These guys are still going to run. It's still going to be great. You know, it's it's not just uh, it's definitely not just me at the helm for sure. Uh, coach with a, a roster like yours of, um, you know, current wrestlers and then, you know, some transfers that want to be a part of your program. You know, how did wrestle offs go? How do you kind of handle um, ultimately having what you believe is the best lineup, you know, in March to when go win another, you know, your 13th national title? Yeah, our, our lineup is really fluid. Uh, we don't do wrestle offs early in the year. Um you know, we, we've got, obviously we've got some guys coming back that, that we know have already proven that they can be great. Um, and so those guys are going to get lots of opportunities early on. Um, you know, we'll go down to Kansas this weekend for a tournament. We'll take probably 40 guys down there and each tournament is kind of its own little wrestle off. You know, if you, if you look at it that way, I mean, if, if you go and you win the tournament, then, you know, maybe at least for that week, then maybe you're a guy, but we need consistency. We need guys that are reliable. We want to see guys be tough. And and that's really what it is week to week, you know. So every time we compete, it's just an opportunity for those guys. And that's just what we want to see. Just guys that, that are going to wrestle free, guys that are going to wrestle the way that they want to wrestle, and guys that are going to that will represent the program. And you know, we, we don't make any decisions on that lineup really until February. Yeah, the Grandview Open coming up. Uh, you know, that's kind of like your first look or fans first look at, at you guys. And I think almost everybody competes, right. Either in the open or the, the fresh soft division. Um, what are the challenges with that tournament of not only hosting, you know, a, a massive tournament, I think we had 16 mats there. Um, you know, just being able to go around all 16 mats and you know, hopefully get a look into you know, what, how these guys actually compete when it's, you know, outside of the wrestling room. Yeah, I mean that that is the biggest challenge. I mean, it's a the venue's big, it's spread out. You know, you've got like you said, sixteen mats, and um, you know, sometimes on that day it's a little bit harder to to see some of the freshmen wrestle when you're coaching some of the older guys in the open division. So you just try to make your way around and and see as much as possible. And 
Um, I'm lucky. I mean, the between the support at Grandview, um, the support with you guys with IA Russell, the the city of Des Moines, <clears throat> we're we're able to host that tournament. But I don't feel like I'm hosting a tournament. You know, I mean, there, there's work to do and, and there's stuff we have to do leading up to that. Um, but again, with all my assistant coaches and the, and the work that those guys do, once that day starts, we're just coaching, you know, and, and that's the best part. You know, you really want to be able to focus on that. And, you know, the officials, same thing. I think we've got, we bring in 24 paid officials and then Jay Cox brings in, they've got a mentorship program where they bring in some younger guys too, and they get to do some work. And so um, even little things like that, you know, you've got over 30 officials there that are like that they're we got some really good officials and we've got some young guys that are learning too so it's a it's a really good day all the way around uh alex uh are you gonna be competing at 74 again this year yes sir so um you know going into the season obviously there's gonna be a target on your on your on your head um you know looking to to be you right um so what's the energy like in the room how are you and it's going to carry that momentum, uh, not only for you personally, but, you know, ultimately as a, a leader in this room. Um, I've, I'm going to carry the same energy I brought last year as in just wanting to get better and just focusing on getting better. And in a way, since I've been at Grandview, I've always felt like there's a target on my back just representing Grandview. So I don't feel like none of that changes anything. I'm just being the returning national champion. To me, that doesn't hold as much weight as it will for other people. For me, my main focus is how can I get better every day? What's areas I can improve on? It sounds like really, you know, the your values that you've learned there at Grandview is just, uh, I think that the really thing I like about what you've been saying is uh, day by day, um, you know, and daily, you know, trying to trying to be better on and off the mat. So uh, kudos for you, obviously, on the results um, speak for themselves. Um, but ultimately, you know, trying to be a good young men when we when we graduate. So, um, coach, uh, for fans that maybe have not toured your facility, your campus, man, this campus is growing. Like I, I don't even know where you guys are finding the room for some of these um, beautiful facilities. Um, not just the wrestling room, but just the, the campus in general. Um, what are some of the highlights uh, for you when you you know you're taking recruits on campus of what's important at Grandview? Yeah, I think, uh, like you said, I mean, our wrestling facility is great. I mean, we've got one of the probably one of the top facilities in the whole country, standalone facility. Um, so we're, we're really grateful for that. And then the campus itself, you know, it's changed so much. We, we've grown so much in the last 15 years that, um, you know, just to keep up with the growth and and keep up with the enrollment, you know, you, you've got to keep building new facilities. You need to keep improving what you have. And I think that's part of when, when people visit Grandview. You know, usually, at least from what from our perspective, it's wrestling that brings them in. Uh, but then when they check out campus and they they see like we have such a unique situation when you look at a, a private school with about 2000 students being in Des Moines, Iowa, there's not many schools like that. You know, most of the private schools are in smaller towns and, you know, there, there's nothing wrong with that. But we have such a niche where when you start thinking about the you know, the, the number one thing you're trying to do academically is make connections. You know, you, you, yeah, you want to graduate and get your degree. But in that process, it's it's having the opportunity to go out and do internships or field experiences and, and make those connections. And when you think about, you know, getting your first job out of college, it's going to be somebody that you know that, that you met along the way. You know, there's not many times where you just apply for a job and randomly get a you know, job when you don't know anybody. And that's what Granby does, man. It, it's such a unique situation. And so... You throw that in there on top of the wrestling experience and you know what we really want is this not to be just a four or five year experience for for our athletes i want it to be like a lifetime thing like these guys look back and they're like man this didn't impact me just for a short amount of time but this had an impact on me for really the, the rest of my life love it coach uh, i want you to end uh just with uh, our media day here just about um the importance of the heart conference and um uh, we had some high-level, high-caliber coaches uh, across the conference, and, uh, and and what what a high-level conference does for you guys, uh, you know, in March. Yeah, I love it. You know, we, we do we have a great conference. I think it really prepares us for the the national tournament. We get tough competition within this conference throughout the year, and, and I think the other thing that I'm proud of in, in our conference is just the like you said the level of coaching, but the level of the people. Just meaning like some really good coaches, good people um, that try to do it the right way. You know, our meetings, the coaches all get along really well. We're on the same page. 
we, we want what's best for the conference. We want what's best for wrestling. We want what's best for the athletes. And, uh, you know, I, I don't think there's uh, many conferences like that in, in any division where you have a group of guys that are, are really just a good, solid group of, of human beings. Awesome stuff, guys. Well, uh, we, you know, we wish you guys the best of luck. Uh, I'll see you guys uh, here in a couple of weeks at the Grandview Open. Alex, uh, congratulations on your national championship. I, I know you guys have already, you know, got the focus on 2025. So uh, best of luck. Thank you. Thanks, Tony. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. See you soon.